Hey kid, hey guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in this follow-up vid, we are running through an even faster way of installing your roof nuts using a DIY tool. Let's get started. So if you haven't checked out the other videos on how to do that, you can do that at the top section here. This is the fastest way that I've found so far on how to do a DIY version of installing roof nuts. If you know of a faster way, let me know in the comments below. But this is the best that I've found so far. Now you're going to need the roof nut tool, similar to what we built in the last video. They're a pretty simple thing, just a long bolt that is the same thread as the roof nut that you're installing, a couple of washers on either end, and a coupler. And you really want this coupler to be roughly the same sort of diameter as the bolt that is going through it. And same as before, to set this thing up, you want to put it together just like this. Get the rivet nut that you want to install and tighten it right down. Once you have it tightened down tight, you want to install it into the hole that you are going to be installing the rivet nut into. Now once you're at this point, this is where it changes and differs from our version 2 of our DIY tool on how to install the rivet nuts. Instead of having to crank on the bolt using your ratchet, we're busting out the power tools. And this is one of the fastest ways. I almost reckon that using it in this way is faster than even the proper tool. So how to use this, it's just a matter of grabbing your drill, in this case, an impact driver. You can use a normal drill as well. I just find the impact drivers work just that little bit better. Now the good thing about the impact drivers is they also have the quick release and we're going to need one of these. This is the drill bit that we need to connect our actual socket for the bolt to. Once you've got that ready to go, you're good to go. You can see what's happening here, can't you? So drill, bolt, onto our roof nut that's planted in the bottom there. You're still going to need your spanner and that's designed to be sitting on the coupling here itself. From there, you want to get your drill and we want to have at it. Now it's really important that when you put your spanner on that you're putting some downward pressure onto the rivet nut mounting surface itself. That just really helps it bite into the surface that you're attaching it to. All right, so once she's tight, it's just a matter of reversing the drill bit and removing the tool. So there we have it. If we take this guy off, all installed, you can see underneath here, we've got a nice bead there again, ready to rock and roll and nice and flush on the top. One way of telling if you're ready to go when you are drilling into this, because it is so fast, and you're not doing it by hand, so you don't really get the same sort of feel as if you were doing it with the ratchet wrench. The easiest way to tell, I've found, is to keep an eye on the faceplate of the rivet nut itself. As soon as it starts bowing a little bit, you're definitely cooked and you don't want to be uh, doing it any further because what will happen is the whole rivet nut casing will start kinking off to the side and you'll eventually get to a point where you won't be able to put the bolt in. So there you are folks, like I said, that is the fastest way I've found to be able to install these, probably even faster than the actual tool itself. I don't know, let me, let me know what you think. That's it for another video. I hope that you found this one helpful. If you did, please leave a thumbs up or a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All that kind of support helps me grow the channel, which means I get to bring out more content for all of you guys. That's it for this one. I hope that you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.